राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा कृष्ण कृष्णा हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे भगवते वसुदेवा नमो भगवते वसुदेवा नमो 
भागवते वसुदेवाया सो वी वर रिकाउंटिंग द पास्ट टाइम्स ऑफ लॉर्ड कृष्णा बिकॉज वी आर कमिंग अप टू जन्माष्टमी and we need to hear more about lord krishna by the time janmashtami comes we want to be very absorbed in thinking of krishna woman zai eh hui gu zhu krishna de xiao shi guang yin wei ma shang jiu dao le zhu krishna de xian jian ri janmashtami so we must xiao jiang geng duo gan krishna de xiao shi guang so lord krishna of course appeared in mathura that was the janmashtami the place of the birth of lord krishna But immediately after his birth, he was moved to the home of Nanda Maharaj in Goku. 当然，主奎师呢是显现在马图拉，是他的出生地。但他一出生就被转移到了南达马哈拉吉的多库拉。And there he was with Lord Balaram, and they performed the the they they uh, performed their childhood lila there. In the home of Nanda Maharaj, along with all the cowherd men and the cowherd boys. Lord Krishna and Balarama are in the Gokula, and those cowherd men and cowherd boys are there. There are many happy memories. So, Lord Krishna's childhood is divided into three sections. There is first, well, the, each section is it's meant to be five, five years each. The first section is called Kumar. Where the boy is very young, up to five, and he will stay in the home with his parents and under the care of the mother. Hmm. One. Hmm. Chu Krishna, 小时候消失光分成三个部分，每一部分是五岁。在头五岁呢，他是他在他母亲的监护之下 ，Kumara. So, and then second part of life, Poganda, five to ten. Where the boy is growing up a bit, and he's able to take more care、uh, of himself and run around with the other children and play with them. So yeah, Lord Krishna and Lord Balaram, at the Poganda stage, they would take care of the calves. Hmm. 等他稍微长大一点呢，他就和他的牧牛童伙伴和他他的哥哥巴拉拉玛一起。他们就可以和小牛犊一起玩耍，去照料小牛牛犊，叫刨缸的阶段。And then the third stage of the childhood is called Kishore, from the age of eleven up to fifteen. 第三 ，That is when Lord Krishna and Lord Balaram would be more with the cows. 在第三个阶段呢，嗯，叫刨缸的阶段。他们就更多的可以去照料母牛。But Lord Krishna was no ordinary child; he is the supreme personality of Godhead. So his first child part, the first stage of his childhood, which was meant to be five years, it was passed in a period of three years and four months. But Krishna 可不是普通的孩子。所以他的第一个阶段呢，只是呃花了三年而四个月的时间。We see sometimes young boys grow up very quickly, they mature very quickly. Although they may only be twelve years old, they're much more mature than the average twelve-year-old boy. 有的男孩子就是特别早熟，他们虽然十二岁，但是比同龄的男孩子呢，看上去要成熟的多。So Lord Krishna, Lord Balaram, they were like that. They grew up very quickly. So each of the stages, which is usually five years, they would pass it in three years and four months. Krishna and Balaram are also like that. So they are 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 like that. Lord Krishna is ready to go. It, he's finished his childhood and he's ready for adult life. And that was when he is going to Mathura. So, when Krishna reached the age of eleven, he had already completed his childhood stage. He was preparing to go to Mathura. So, we were talking about, we were telling last time 
when we spoke on this a couple of nights back, we were telling how Akrura had come there to Mathura and brought Krishna away from Vrindavan and brought him, brought Krishna from Vrinda, out of Vrindavan to Mathura. 上次呢，我们就讲到，嗯，康萨就派阿库拉来把库什纳和巴拉拉玛从古库拉带到马马图拉。And um, mm -hmm. we were telling about Lord Krishna meeting different people, how he met the laundry man of Kamsa, and he met Kubja, the hunchback lady who was grinding sandalwood for Kamsa. 我们也讲到了，他们在马图拉就遇见了不同的人，他们遇见了康斯的习工，又遇到了驼背的女子库扎。So the laundry man was not very nice, but anyway, Krishna dealt with him appropriately, and the, they were able to take Kamsa's clothes for themselves. 嗯，当然那个习工的态度并不是很好，很恶劣。当然他们都得到了应有的惩罚。Krishna和牧牛童呢，就拿了康斯的这些衣服。And Kubja, she was very cooperative and she did wonderful service for Lord Krishna, providing sandalwood for him. Kubja 呢，就非常的合作，他就很取悦 Krishna。把很香香叶呢献给了Krishna And Krishna was Krishna rewarded her by straightening her back for her Krishna呢就把他的驼背给拔直了以此来报答他 And then Krishna and Balaram went to the home or they went to the shop of Sudama the florist and he was happy to give them beautiful fresh garlands 后来 Krishna Balarama 又去了花商苏达玛的家，苏达玛给他们献上了精美的花环。And then we heard how Krishna and Balaram had gone on to the wrestling match which had been arranged by Kamsa. 我们又听到 Krishna Balarama 就去了 Kamsa 安排着安排的摔跤比赛。And how Actually, Srimad Bhagavatam tells us when Krishna and Balaram were going through the streets of Mathura, all the ladies of Mathura were very anxious to see Lord Krishna. All the ladies, they would go up onto the roof of their houses. And from the roof of their houses, they could look down into the street and they could see Lord Krishna coming with all the cowherd boys, all the people of Vrindavan. They'd all, they'd all heard about this boy, young boy, and the wonderful activities which he'd done. 他们都对这个奇妙的男孩子 Krishna 他所做的这些壮举都有所耳闻。At the age of seven, he picked up the Govardhan hill and held it up for seven days. 他七岁大的时候呢，就连续七天举起了 Govardhan 山。And when he was just a baby, he killed the demon Putana who had come trying to kill baby Krishna. 当 Krishna 还是婴儿的时候呢，他就杀死了前来要想杀死他的Putana女巫。Many different friends of Kamsa came in different forms, all trying to kill Krishna. 嗯，康萨的这些嗯狐朋狗友，一个又一个的就想来残害Krishna。But it was just like a sport, just like a game for Krishna. One after another, Krishna defeated them. 对 Krishna 而言呢，这就像游戏一样，他一个又一个的打败了这些恶魔。And the the last ones to come before Krishna left Vrindavan, you had Kesi in the form of the horse demon coming, and then you had Vyomasura, who came as a cowherd boy. 就 Krishna 在 Vrindavan 杀死的最后一个是马魔 Kesi。然后之后还有Vilmasura疯魔。So Krishna came out of Vrindavan along with Akrura, 
on a Krura's chariot and they came into Mathura ready to meet with Kamsa. Krishna and Balarama and Kamsa had arranged for this wrestling match, but even before the wrestling match, Kamsa had arranged for a very nasty demon elephant to block the path of Lord Krishna. And Krishna had to trick the elephant hide because he elephants have one problem. They cannot see behind them. Because they have these big bodies, they can't see what's going on behind them. So Krishna was very clever. He'd move behind the elephant. And the elephant could never see Krishna. He didn't know where Krishna was. In this way, Krishna tricked the elephant and pulled the elephant to the ground and then he killed both the elephant and the man who was the keeper of the elephant. Because the elephant is so high, he can't see So Krishna came to the elephant and put the elephant on the ground and put the elephant on the ground and killed the elephant. Then there was a sacrificial bow. Lord Krishna picked up the bow and pulled it and broke the bow. And in this way, Krishna and Balaram came into the wrestling arena to confront these huge wrestlers who had very big, strong bodies. Krishna and Balarama just like So the people were watching, the many different people had all come to watch this wrestling contest, and they were all seeing Krishna in different ways. <coughs> 嗯,人们纷纷就来到摔跤场来目睹这一场摔跤比赛,他们都是以各自的方式来看待Krishna. Mm, mm, For Kamsa, King Kamsa was looking at, he was seeing Krishna as death personified, because he knew Krishna was going to be the cause of his death. Kamsa呢,就把Krishna看成死亡的化身, but the cowherd people from Vrindavan, the cowherd boys and Nanda Maharaj, they saw Krishna as their dear friend. And the ladies of Mathura, they saw Lord Krishna as the sweetest, most handsome young man on the planet. So all the different people who were there in the wrestling arena, they were all seeing Krishna in one different rasa. Some people have Madhurya rasa, like the gopis. Some people have Vatsalya Rasa, like Nanda and Mother Yashoda, and then there's Sakya Rasa, like the cowherd boys. There are five direct relationships with Lord Krishna and seven indirect relationships. So Kamsa, he's also thinking of Krishna, but he's always thinking how to kill Krishna because he'd been warned that this boy is going to kill you. So he has a lot of fear for Krishna. 所以他非常恐惧Krishna. 
when he's always Krishna conscious, he's always thinking of Krishna, but he's just simply thinking in, in fear. That how how will I kill how can I kill this boy? The demons, materialists, they're very con they don't want to die. But we all have to die. This is Mrityu Loka. This is the planet of death. And the Bhagavad Gita, Lord Krishna describes Jata Shahi Drivom Ritu Drivam Janma Mritashyacha. For one who has taken birth. Arjuna, death is certain. To Krishna, in Buddha's Fangge, Zhong said, "Arjuna, you shall be alive." So the death rate is the same; it's always been. The death rate is one hundred percent. So, the death rate is always been. The death rate is one hundred percent. Means every one of us are going to die. But actually, we don't die because we're all souls, and the soul is eternal. But actually, we don't die because we're all souls, and the soul is eternal. But actually, we don't die because we're all souls, and the soul is eternal. But actually, we don't die because we're all souls, and the soul is eternal. But actually, we don't die because we're all souls, and the soul is eternal. So we want to be careful about what kind of body we take in our next life. So we want to be careful about what kind of body we take in our next life. So we want to be careful about what kind so human life is like the crossroads. You decide which way you want to go. Do you want to go up or do you want to go down? So human life is like the crossroads. You decide which way you want to go. So Lord Krishna comes into this world to re-establish religious principles, to give pleasure to the devotees, and to remove the miscreants. To Krishna 降临世上，目的就是重建宗教原则，去铲除恶徒，去帮助奉献者。It is pointed out by the acharyas that it is the shamsundar form of Krishna which gives pleasure to the devotees. Acharya 们指出呢，是主的 shamsundar 形体给奉献者们带来快乐。And when it comes to killing the miscreants, the demons, that is done by the Vasudev feature of Krishna. 嗯，当需要铲除恶徒的时候，是 Krishna。The Vasudeva 特形象去铲铲除恶徒。The Shamsundar form of Krishna, that is just for the devotees to give pleasure to the devotees. 主的 Shamsundar 形体呢，是给予奉献者的，就是专为给奉献者带来快乐的。So when Krishna is with Nanda Maharaj and Mother Yashoda, when he's with the gopis. This is Shamsundar Krishna. When Krishna and Nanda Maharaj are together, this is his Shamsundar body. But when Krishna goes to Mathura and fights Kamsa and kills Kamsa, this is Vasudev Krishna. But when Krishna goes to Mathura to fight Kamsa, this is his Vasudev body. So you have Shamsundar Krishna. He stays in Vrindavan in Braja, and Vasudev Krishna, he's in Mathura, 
and he goes to Dwarka. 嗯，山脉森的形象，他里是一直在文达文，而 Vasudeva 形象，他是去了马图拉之后又去了多尔卡。Actually, they're the same Krishna, but there's a different mood, a different exchange of love with the different people. 事实上是同一位 Krishna， 只是不同的心态，是跟不同的奉献者有不同的爱的交流。Vasudev Krishna is killing the demons, and Shamsundar Krishna he is dancing Rasa Lila with the gopis. Vasudev Krishna 在铲除恶徒，而 Shamsundar Krishna 呢，在和木牛姑娘大跳 Rasa 之舞。So Lord Krishna comes to Mathura. And he has to establish the rule of King Kamsa. Oh, he has to rather remove King Kamsa from the throne. And after he kills Kamsa, then he places his grandfather Ugrasena on the throne. Krishna 去马图了之后呢，他就铲除了康萨王。之后呢，他就把他的祖父乌格森呢呢扶上了王座。So, when Kamsa was killed, then we told how Krishna released Vasudev and Devaki from the prison house, and they could be with their mother and father again. 嗯，当康萨被杀了之后呢 ，Krishna 就释放了他的父母 Vasudev 和 Devaki， 就和他们团聚了。嗯。Vasudev and Devaki had spent years in the prison house, and they had given birth to six children who had all been killed by Kamsa. Hmm. Vasudev and Devaki 一直被关在监狱里，他们的前六个孩子都被康萨杀死。So, Vasudev and Devaki, when they were released from the prison, then they were Anxious to see that Lord Krishna and Lord Balaram could complete their education, and they arranged for the different rituals to be performed. Name just like at at their birth, Gargacharya had come and given their names. 嗯，当 Vasudeva 和 Devaki 从监狱里出来之后呢，他们就渴望看到自己的儿子完成教育。他们就安排了不同的仪式，比如说在他们诞生的时候呢，嗯，高拉穆尼就来给他们，嗯，命有个命名仪式。So Garga Muni and the Brahmanas they performed ritual ritual ceremonies and initiated Lord Krishna and Lord Balaram, and then. It was arranged that they should get education. They went to the ash to stay in the ashram of Sandipani Muni. Gaga Muni 呢就和不同的婆罗门就为 Krishna 和 Balarama 举行了不同的嗯举行了仪式，之后呢就把他们送到了 Sandipani Muni 的 ashram. Sandipani Muni's ashram is in Ujjain. Today it's called Ujjain. Previously it was called Avanti. 那么，他们三地帕尼穆尼的阿什姆呢，是在五这五这因当今的五这因，以前呢叫阿瓦提。So s a n d i p a n i Muni taught Krishna and Balaram all the arts. They they were there for sixty four days, and in sixty four days, s a n d i p a n i Muni taught them the sixty four Vedic arts. Each day, they learned a different art. Uh, their 兄弟俩呢，就在 Sandy Pani Muni 的阿什姆呢，就待了六十四天，每一天学会了一种伟大的艺术。You can read the Krishna book, and Prabhupada lists all the sixty-four different arts which Lord Krishna and Lord Balaram learned there. 嗯，你们可以学去阅读《Krishna 快乐全员》。嗯，圣帕帕德就列举了这六十四项艺术分别是哪些。So they learned everything, one art every day. They in sixty-four days they had completed their studies, 
and then Sandipani Muni requested them to give some Guru Dakshin. 就这样，他们每天掌握了一门艺术。等六十四天之后呢，嗯，Sandipani usually Guru Dakshin would be you give a cow, or you maybe you give your daughter or some young girl for the 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 Guru, or maybe you give some land to him, or you give some valuable gold or something like this. But Sandipani Muni asked Krishna and Balaram, he said, please bring back my dead son. That certainly an unusual request to receive, you know, to, to bring back someone who's already dead, to bring them back to life. However, we do see these things mentioned sometimes. For example, Bali Maharaj at one point was fighting for the demons against the demigods and Bali Maharaj got killed in the battle. Bali Maharaj在战争中他已经被杀了,但是他的Guru让他起死复生. So Sukracharya was the Guru, he could bring him back to life. 所以他的Guru Sukracharya就让Bali Maharaj又起死复生了. So if somebody, you know, if, you've if you're dead and somebody brings you back to life, you we should be quite grateful to them. You know, most people they like they'd be grateful. They think, "Oh, thank you so much. You brought me back to life." So, usually,如果嗯一个人已经死去了，然后又有有有人让他又重新复活，他肯定特别的心存感激。Of course, later on, Bali Maharaj had to give up his guru because he. The Guru gave some contrary recording in progress. <laughs> the Guru gave some contradictory instructions. Anyway, Sandipani Muni, he asked Krishna and Balaram, Sandipani Muni was a guru. And he asked his students that bring my son back to life. So Sandy Pani Muni Hatsuwe Guru Tatu Tichu Yachu to Nimbao the Earth Round Earth Chis Fu. You would think Krishna and Balaram, you'd think they say, Well, you're the guru, you know, you we're we are just your students, you know, you're asking us why don't you do it? You know, you're the guru. You should be more powerful than us. But anyway, Lord Krishna accepted this as the desire of his guru, and he thought, you know, the order of the guru is very important, so we should, I should do it. So he went with Lord Balaram, and they went to the sea. Because the boy had died in the in the ocean, so they went to the shore of the ocean, and the god of the ocean came before them and asked, "How can I serve you?" Um, the God of the ocean could understand the divine position, the ultimate supreme position of Lord Krishna and Balaram, and he came there to offer service. 
So Lord Krishna explained to the God of the ocean that some time ago my guru's son died here in the ocean. Please return him. So Krishna就向他们致敬，然后Krishna呢就对他说。在不久之前呢，我姑的儿子去世了。我希望你把他带到这里。But the god of the ocean said, "Oh no, I don't have him. There's a demon who is in the ocean named Panchajana, and he's the one who was responsible for the death of that boy." 但是海神回答说，哦，这个孩子不在我这里，在深海呢，有一个恶魔潘扎詹娜。so Lord Krishna went into the ocean and he found this Panchajana and he, he fought with him and killed him but he couldn't find the boy anywhere within the body of the demon. So but this demon was there was a conch shell growing from his body. So Lord Krishna took that conch shell from the body of the demon. That is called the Panchajanya, the conch shell of Lord Krishna. 但是这个恶魔身上呢，就长了一个海海螺。主库什呢就把这个海螺拿拿走，所以他就有了这个潘查真呢海螺。And it's mentioned in the Bhagavad Gita when they were armed with the armies on the battlefield, how the different sides were blowing their conch shells, and Lord Krishna, when he blew the Pancha Janya. Then it created all auspiciousness for the Pandavas. Every RT you hear the conch shell, it's very auspicious. You blow the conch shell. 每次做RT的时候呢,我们都听到这个海螺声声,然后这就非常吉祥。I remember uh, we were doing Sankirtan in a town in England, and we came to this one town. There were a number of people, I think they were Gujarati people, they'd come there to this, this town. They were living, I think it was Leicester. So we were, we were doing Hari Nat Sank Street Sankirtan and we were chanting and they came out from the house blowing their conch shells. They all had their own conch shells and they came out and they were blowing the conch shells. It was so nice. Mara said, they were in England, in Leicester, in the house of Hari Nat, and they were in the house of Hari Nat, we were up and down the street chanting and they were blowing the conch shells <laughs> like a festival. And so it's also said that this Panchajana, this demon, that Krishna killed, he was actually like a pure devotee. He was like, just like Jai and Vijay came from the spiritual world and they, you know, they were gatekeepers in the spiritual world and they, they had to become demons in the material world. So Panchajanya also, he was like that. He was actually a, a pure devotee. He'd been, he was in the spiritual world, but somehow he'd come to this earth to take part in Krishna pastime. So Lord Krishna is uh, he he couldn't find the, the child within the body of the demon, so then he went to Yamalok. He went to see Yamaraj. Krishna Balarama 
孩子，于是他们就去了 Yamalok。And Lord Krishna went to the gates of the kingdom of Yamaraj, and he blew the conch shell. <laughs> and immediately Yamaraj came out and offered all respects to Lord Krishna and offered prayers to Krishna. Krishna Balarama, 一到这 Yamaloka 就吹响了他们新拿到的海螺，然后 Yamaraj 就马上出来迎接他们，向他们顶拜，向他们献上祷文。So then. After offering prayers, then he requested Lord Krishna how he could do service for him, and Lord Krishna told about the son of his spiritual teacher. So Yamaraj knew this boy, and he immediately brought this boy, and gave the boy to Lord Krishna. Then Yamaraj 就马上出就出来呢，就顶拜完之后就问能为他们做些什么服务。Krishna 和 Balarama 就告诉。Yamaraj 有关于这个男孩子的事情 ，Yamaraj 就把这个孩子带来，交给了 Krishna。So Krishna brought the boy back to his guru, and his guru, of course, is very pleased. He's got his son back from death, so he gave blessings to Lord Krishna. 嗯，当 Krishna 把 Guru 的儿子交给 Guru 的时候呢 ，Sanipan Muni 就对他非常满意，就祝福他。He blessed Lord Krishna that he would be famous forever, and then he gave another blessing. He said, "I bless you that all the Vedic mantras you've learned they'll always remain fresh within your memory." 嗯，那那么他的 Guru 就呃祝祝福他，就祝福他，他学到的所有的 mantra 都会永远就留在他的记忆里，就。非常的新鲜，而且它会闻名遐迩。All the Vedic mantras that they learn will remain fresh in their memory. 嗯，他学到的所有的伟大的 mantra 都会非常新鲜的留在他的记忆当中。Maybe some of you are studying Bhakti Shastri. Anybody studying Bhakti Shastri here? 嗯，在座的有没有人在学巴蒂萨水？巴巴蒂萨水课程、嗯，四本书，四本书。我们现在才开始国家看的。Studying Bhakti Shastri, yes. 你是学生？嗯。那很好。Yes, we encourage the devotees. Especially those of you who may have first initiation, and you may be thinking about second initiation, you should first you should complete the Bhakti Shastri. 嗯，马老师就鼓励说，嗯，尤其是那些已经得到一次启迪的，倘若想要得到二次启迪，那么就应该去学巴蒂萨什课程。嗯 ，That's one of the qualifications necessary. To qualify for the second initiation. 嗯，这是必要的资格。嗯，只只有得到了这个巴蒂萨什课程，毕业之后拿到证书，才可以得到二次启迪。Sri Lajapataka Swami Maharaj especially is encouraging all of his disciples that they should study these courses. Sri Lajapataka Swami Maharaj. 尤其是鼓励他的门徒都要学习这个课程。He has he himself is personally studying. 而且他本人亲自在在学习这课程。Actually, he was told, "We will give you honorary degree because we know you know the philosophy very well." 嗯，他被那、呃、老师告知呢，说。We will give you honorary degree because we know you are very knowledgeable. But he said, "No, I want to do the course myself. I want to study and do everything." And he said, "He said I don't want you to just give me the honorary." I said, "I will do everything. I want because I want my disciples to see the example." Then Jayapada Swami 就拒绝了，说，呃，我我希望给我的门徒树立榜样，我要亲自来学习这个课程。So very important to read Prabhupada's books regularly. 每天有规律的阅读圣帕帕的书籍，这至关重要
And these courses are a, a tremendous help in understanding the teachings and the contents of Prabhupada's books. So these teachings, that is, to understand the teachings of and so I said that there are different. First of all, there's the Bhakti Shastri, which is the Bhagavad Gita, along with Ishopanishad, Nectar of Instruction, and a little bit of Nectar of Devotion. So, this Bhakti Shastri, then, includes, um, the book, Bhagavad Gita, um, Ishop, Ishopanishad, Nectar of Instruction, and a little bit of Nectar of Devotion. So, it's important. So it's important people who want to be Brahmins, they want Brahmin initiation, they should know the philosophy, they should have some knowledge. We don't want all the Brahminas in Iskon to be illiterate Brahmins. <laughs> No, I'm an Iskon Brahmin. I don't know anything. Right? That's not very good. Not a great credit. 哎呀，我是伊斯康的婆罗门，但是我什么也不知道。这个不是一个很好的一个嗯资格。我是一个伊斯康布拉门，所以我什么都不知道。来<笑><笑>。No, we, so we have to learn. We have to learn the philosophy, and we want to also learn the slokas and quote the verses in the Bhagavad Gita. So we need to learn this this knowledge, and we need to keep the eyes closed and the eyes of the Lord Krishna closed. So Lord Krishna got the blessing from Sandipani Muni that all the mantras he'd learned they would remain ever fresh in his memory. Oh. 所以主 Krishna 就从 Sandy Pan Muni 那得到这个祝福，就是他学到的所有的 mantra 都会留在他的脑海里，他总是能够想起这些 mantra. It's a very nice blessing to get, you know, <laughs> because when you try to learn slokas, it becomes quite challenging sometimes to remember the verses. 这个祝福是特别美好的，因为我们当我们学习呃想要试图背这些 mantra 的时候，就觉得是一个很大的挑战。You have to recite regularly these mantras. There we have. There's one one of my god sisters. Uh, she she would recite the verses every day for a few years. In this way, you learn them. 嗯，就。要每天的都要背诵这个这些诗节，嗯，马尔说他有一个神姐妹，就每天都背诵这些诗节，就过好几年，然后就学会了这些诗节。嗯、mm. ，So we want, we do, we do need to study, we need to learn, we need to recite these verses. And Prabhupada often you can hear Prabhupada's lectures how he's quoting many different verses in his lectures. So, we, um, Tangren, we need to remember these mantras. Really, we need to put in effort, put in effort to learn and remember. We often hear Prabhupada's lectures in the Sandipani Muni Ashram. And why did Lord Krishna go to Sandipani Muni Ashram? Because he's teaching us the importance. We have to study. We have to learn. We have to read the books. We have to just learn. Krishna spent six sixty four days studying. We need to learn, to study, to read books. Even Lord Krishna spent sixty four days studying. So we should. We also need to study. We need to learn these this philosophy. We need to study. We need to learn. We also need to study. We need to learn. We also need to study. We need to learn. We also need to study. We need to learn. Quote the slokas. So, so we also need to spend time to study, to understand the Vedas, to be able to quote the Shastra Shloka. So, Lord Krishna satisfied Sandipani Muni, and then he came back to Mathura, and he stayed there with Vasudev and Devaki. Oh, and he, before that, he requested Nanda Maharaj. And the cowherd boys, he told them, he said, "You should go back to Vrindavan." 
，所以当主奎什呢满足了他的咕咕噜三尼帕尼姆尼之后呢，他就回到了马图拉，就和他的父母在一起。然后在这之前呢，他要求南德马尔的返回文达文。So Nanda Maharaj and the coward boys, they'd all come there to Mathura for the wrestling match, and they'd seen the wrestling, and they saw Krishna kill Kamsa, and after everything, then Lord Krishna suggested to Ka to Nanda Maharaj that you you should go back to Vrindavan, that uh, you need to go back and take care of everything there, the cows and look after the the, the gopis. Nanda Maharaj 带着所有的那带着牧牛童嘛，牧牛郎就来观看 Krishna 的摔跤比赛。然后之后呢 ，Krishna 就告诉 Nanda Maharaj 说：“您当返回文达文，你需要照料文达文那些事物，还那里还有那些牧牛牧牛姑娘，还有母牛。”嗯 ，So na and Lord Krishna told Nanda Maharaj that you tell Mother Yashoda and tell all the gopis and everything. I'm definitely coming back soon. I will also come soon. I just have to take care. I just want to spend some time here with my mother and father because we haven't been together for a long time. They were in the prison with with King Kamsa had them in prison, so I should spend some time with the devotees here in Mathura. And after I've taken care of everything, then I'll come back to Vrindavan. 然后主 Krishna 就告诉南德玛哈拉子，让他回去，嗯，就向亚叔的妈妈，还有那些牧牛姑娘保证说，主 Krishna 一定会回到文达文。他只是需要在马图尔，在那里多待一些时间，陪瓦苏德瓦和德瓦基，嗯，陪他们度过一些时光。Mm. So Nanda Maharaj, with tears in his eyes, he embraced Lord Krishna, and. Then Lord Krishna gave many presents to take back to Vrindavan to give to all the devotees there, and they departed. Nanda Maharaj 就眼含泪水的拥抱了 Krishna， 而 Krishna 呢就送给 Nanda Maharaj 很多的礼物，让他带回文达文，烧给那里的奉献者们。So Lord Krishna was staying there in Mathura, along with. Ugrasena. Ugrasena was on the throne, and Lord Krishna was there with with him. And uh, there was there were dangers, there were threats from other kings. Lord Krishna 呢，就让乌格森呢，就当呃坐在了王座上。嗯，但是在马图尔呢，还是有很多危险的，因为有很多四周有很多的国王虎视眈眈的。So one of the kings who came to challenge was Jarasandha. Jarasandha was a powerful Shatriya king, and he came with a big army to attack Lord Krishna in Mathura. 那其中的一个。嗯，敌视的国王呢是加尔桑达，他非常有力量，他就来就前来攻打马图拉。So they fought, and Lord Krishna killed everyone except Jarasandha. He killed all the army of Jarasandha. Jarasandha was left alone without an army, completely defeated. Lord Krishna didn't kill Jarasandha; he sent him back. 主 Krishna 就杀了扎尔桑达的所有的士兵，片甲不留，只剩下扎尔桑达一个人，就让他回去了，把他释放了。So when Jarasandha went back, the other Shatriya kings they tried to console him. They said, "Oh, it was just bad luck. You know, you go and get fight him again. Next time you'll win. You know, the first time, the last time you were just unlucky." We think if you go again, you can certainly defeat him. Then, Jarasandha's those kings, um, kings, 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 k
这儿桑塔又带领大军前来进攻。就奎什纳又是把他的军队杀得片甲不留，就只剩下他一个人。然后扎桑呢又回去了以后，他的那些朋友安慰他说：“你你这运气不好，你再去。”就这样，连续十七十七次他进攻都都被打败了。Every time they come back defeated, alone, and they say, "Oh, it was just bad luck. You have to try again." 就就每一次，他们他都是这样，他就是失败了，孤零零的一个人回去之后，他的朋友就鼓励他说：“你你再去，你再去试一下你的运气。”这就率领大军又去，然后结果又是孤零零一个人回来，就这样十七次。So it happened the next time, again, Jonathan is coming again, but at this time when he was coming again, there was another demon called. Kala Yavana, and he was coming with also a huge army. So there was Jarasandha on one side with his army, and there was this other demon, Kala Yavana, coming with his demons' army. 结果到第十七次的时候呢，就是 Jarasandha 就率领大军前来进攻嘛，朱若成。结果另外一个恶魔 Kala Yavana 也率领大军就。也是来攻打，所以就两边儿，两边儿受敌。So it was at this time Lord Krishna decided to move everyone from Mathura to Dwarka. 在这一次，主 Krishna 就决定把所有人都从马朱若城搬到杜尔卡城。And he did it in the night. Well, just in the night. One night. He just moved everyone from Mathura. Everyone woke up the next morning in Dwarka. So, in the morning, the Lord Krishna moved everyone from Mathura to Dwarka. So, in the morning, the Lord Krishna moved everyone from Mathura to Dwarka. So, in the morning, the Lord Krishna moved everyone from Mathura to Dwarka. So, in the morning, the Lord Krishna moved everyone from Mathura to Dwarka. So, in the morning, the Lord Krishna moved everyone from Mathura to Dwarka. So, in the morning, the Lord Krishna moved everyone from Mathura to Dwarka. So, in the morning, the Lord Krishna moved everyone from Mathura to Dwarka. So, in the morning, the Lord Krishna Yeah, we went to Dwarka. Well, if you go to Dwarka, you see it's really it's right on the edge of the coast. You know, it's you have to go past all these salt lakes, and there, there's just nothing practically. And for miles and miles, it's just nothing bare land, desert. You know, not fertile land. And then you come to the coast, and right on the edge of the coast, that's where Dwarka is. 嗯，就是这个多尔克城呢，它就是连连绵几呃几里，它都是嗯，就什么也没有。然后就是到了在海边，然后就是突突兀的就多尔克城就矗立在那里。So Lord Krishna wanted to protect the people of Mathura. He didn't want anything to happen to them, so he moved them all to Dwarka, and he also. By moving them all to Dwarka, he took the attention of the demons away from that area. Lord Krishna 不希望杜尔卡城的居民们受到伤害，所以就把他们转移到了杜尔卡。就这样呢，他也就保护他们。他不希望所有的敌人都把焦点关嗯、呃、盯着，总是盯着马图拉。Because Lord Krishna was worried about the people of Vrindavan, that he didn't want anything to happen to them. Because Lord Krishna was very worried about the people of Vrindavan, he didn't want anything to happen to them. Because Lord Krishna was very worried about the people of Vrindavan, he didn't want anything to happen to them. Because Lord Krishna was very worried about the people of Vrindavan, he didn't want anything to happen to them. Because Lord Krishna was very worried about the people of Vrindavan. Then certainly they would go there and trouble the people of Vrindavan. Because Lord Krishna's enemies are all strong and powerful. He said that if they knew Lord Krishna, Vrindavan, if they were to look at Vrindavan, then Vrindavan would be in danger. So Lord Krishna moved all the people away from Mathura to Dwarka. So Lord Krishna moved all the people away from Mathura to Dwarka. So Lord Krishna moved all the people And in this way, the attention was taken away from Vrindavan. There was no more danger for the people of Vrindavan. 
，本达本的人们嘛，这样一来呢，就不再有任何危险了。Of course, Jarasandha, he thought Lord Krishna was afraid of him. He thought Krishna was running away from him. Jarasandha 呢，是以为 Krishna 害怕他，就逃跑了。What happened was this demon Kala Yavana was was coming to attack Mathura, and Lord Krishna, Lord Krishna, had he is Lord Krishna is all knowing, so he tricked this demon Kala Yavana to to come after him, and Lord Krishna went. Across the battlefield, and he didn't confront Kala Yavana. He just walked across the battlefield, and Kala Yavana came after him, running after him. But Kala Yavana could not catch Krishna. 嗯，主 Krishna 他无所不知，他就嗯就欺骗了卡拉亚瓦纳，就耍耍了一个呃伎俩。然后他就直接的就穿过了战场，然后卡拉亚瓦纳的魔呢就在后面紧追不舍。So Kala Yavana was chasing after Krishna, and Krishna climbed up the mountain. Kala Yavana is coming after him, shouting, "Stop! Stop! Fight with me!" Anyway, Krishna kept running, kept moving, and they went up the mountain with Kala Yavana coming behind Krishna. And at one point, Krishna went into a cave up the mountain. So Krishna 就这样爬上了这个山，然后卡列亚瓦那摩呢就在后面嗯喊着停下停下，但主 Krishna 就头也不回的就进了一个山洞。So Kala Yavana went into the cave. He saw Krishna go into the cave. He went into the cave. 那卡拉亚呢？看见 Krishna 进了山洞，他也进了山洞。And what happened when Kala Yavana came in the cave? He saw there was some figure laying on the ground there, and he thought that was Krishna. 当卡拉亚呢进到山洞里，看见洞里躺着一个人，他以为这个人是 Krishna。So Kala Yavana went over to that person and kicked him. Kalyana 就走过去，然后踢了这人一脚。He was thinking this is Krishna. That Krishna is trying to hide from me. 他以为是 Krishna， 他想躲起来。But it wasn't Krishna. It was, this was another person. This was actually a great Shatriya who had been fighting for the demigods. 实际上呢，这个人他不是 Krishna， 是另外一个。特别有力量的 Chatriya， 这个 Chatriya 一直为半神人作战。This Chatriya had been fighting for the demigods for a long time, and the demigods were very pleased with him, and they wanted to give him a blessing in return. 这个 Chatriya 呢，长期以来一直为半神作战，半神很满意，就想祝福他。So. The, this Shantriya asked the demigods, "Just give me the blessing that I can have a good sleep and nobody should disturb me." This this Shantriya 要求的半神的祝福说，你们只要祝福我，让我好好睡睡觉，不要任何人来打扰我的睡觉。嗯，你好 ，You like that blessing? <laughs> nobody should wake me up. 他，你们喜欢这个祝福吗？ <laughs> so because he'd been fighting for a long time, so he was very tired, and so he asked his blessing. So the demigod said, "Yes, we will bless you. If anybody wakes you up, fire will come from your eyes, and you'll burn them to ashes." Because this this Shabili, ne, long time for fighting, very tired, so he asked his blessing. Then the demigod said, "Yes, we will bless you. If anybody wakes you up, fire will come from your eyes, and you'll burn them to ashes." 可以，嗯，倘若有人打搅你睡觉，然后你的那个双眼就喷出怒火，把那个人烧成灰烬。So when the Kala Yavana came into the cave and he saw the person on the ground and he kicked him, then the person woke up and he opened his eyes and immediately flame came out from his eyes and he burned this the body of Kala Yavana to ashes. 
。所以当卡拉亚文娜过来踢了他一脚之后呢，这个沙图亚他睁开双眼。然后他双眼就喷出火焰，一下就把卡拉亚文娜呢烧成，把他身体烧成了灰烬。嗯 ，Krishna didn't want to kill Kala Yavna himself. He thought, let this other person kill him. <laughs> Krishna 不想亲自动手杀卡拉亚文娜，他就让其他的人代他杀他。So you can see how Krishna has many purposes behind everything he does. 我们可以看出呢 ，Krishna 做一件事呢，他背后就有嗯很多的目的都能达成。Because Krishna left the battlefield, he got a special name. He was called Ranchor Krishna. 因为 Krishna 离开这个战场，所以他得到一个嗯名称叫 Ranchor Krishna. Ranchor means one who leaves the battlefield. Now that's a dishonor. To leave the battlefield. Rancho 的意思呢是逃离战场的人，实际上呢并不是很光彩。But for Lord Krishna to leave the battlefield, it was all very transcendental. It was not he was not cowardly, but he had another purpose in mind. 但是倘若 Krishna 离开战场呢，并没有什么不光彩，因为他有其他的目的。So Krishna has these names,、uh, just like he's known as the Makin Chor. He's known as a butter thief. 就像 Krishna 还有一个名字叫 Makin Chor， 嗯，偷黄油贼。So people think, just see this, your God, he's a butter thief. He's a thief. You're worshiping some thief. They they do not understand the transcendental pastimes of Lord Krishna. 人们就是就是指责说，你看你们崇拜的竟是一个偷黄油嘴，他们不明白奎什那消失光的超然性。If we don't hear the pastimes from the devotees, then we won't be able to understand the transcendental nature of Lord Krishna's pastimes. 如我们要是不从奉献者的口中聆听这些消失光，就不能明白这消失光是超然的。Krishna doesn't have to steal butter, but he does it for the pleasure of his devotees. Krishna 用不着去偷黄油，但是他是为了取悦他的奉献者才去偷黄油的。All the butter belongs to Krishna. 所有黄油是属于 Krishna 的。He's not. Thief is not stealing anything; it's all his. He is not a thief. He doesn't need to steal anything because it is all his. And Krishna doesn't have to run off the battlefield. He is not afraid of anyone. He fought so many demons and he defeated all of them. He fought so many demons and he defeated all of them. So there's one temple there in India. Actually, there's the one temple. It's called Ranchor Krishna. The deity is Ranchor Krishna. Krishna in in commemoration of this pastime, Krishna leaving the battlefield. 在印度有一所庙呢，这个庙里供的神像呢，就叫 Ranchor Krishna. So we worship Krishna for these pastimes. 所以，因为 Krishna 这些消失光，我们反而在崇拜他。We don't, we don't、uh, deride Krishna. We don't say, "Oh, look at this God person. He did this. He did." We don't condemn him because of this. Rather, we we glorify him for these pastimes. 我们不会因为因此而谴责 Krishna。你看 Krishna 做这件事，我们反而会荣耀他。So the devotees can understand these pastimes. Those who are not devotees, they're bewildered. 只有奉献者才能明白他的消失光，非奉献者感到非常困惑。Okay, so we will stop here tonight. Are there any questions? Yes. 嗯，明白多了点。其实，在听这些故事的时候，就会发现，无论是做一个很好的奉献者，还是做恶魔，只要能够记得奎斯纳，好像结果都比较好。那在我们现实当中去传播的时候，我们就会发现自己还有很多的人，其实是很容易忘记奎斯纳，甚至很多人完全没有这个信息。那么，如果是得到的资讯结果是，呃，就像现在有的人学其他的教法，他我在跟他们进行一些交流的时候。
他们也时常会回复，就是比如说他就会很多时候就去想，到底是你的那个奎斯拉好呢，还是我的佛陀好呢？是这个菩萨好呢，还是什么好？就是他会更多的去想起。有的人呢会，他他知道了奎斯拉以后，他就会比如说车胎爆炸了，他会说，奎斯拉你为什么不帮我呢？然后钱搞丢了，哎，亏心了，你为什么把钱给我拿走？就是一种抱怨或者怎么样？就是是不是无论用什么方法，只要想着亏心了，就是传教成功呢<笑> ？Is it a success to think of Krishna? Even if you lose all your money. <laughs> Do you think sometimes people complain, Krishna took all our money away, why didn't Krishna save us? So is it success if we just remember Krishna? Well, I explained there's qualities in remembering Krishna, just like Kamsa is always remembering Krishna, but he's thinking about trying to kill Krishna. So I explained that 嗯，记忆 Krishna 还是有不同的品质的，就像 Kansa， 他总是想着 Krishna， 但是他总是敌意的想着 Krishna。嗯、mm. ，So it's it's not just remember Krishna， but it's how you remember Krishna， in what way it should be favorable to Krishna、mm.。所以不是单纯想着 Krishna 就万事大吉了，还要顺意的想着 Krishna。Mm, those who are the demons, like Sishupala and Kamsa, you know, they're always thinking of Krishna, but they're thinking of them him in a bad way. Like Sishupala, Kamsa, such evil demons, they think of Krishna, but they think of him in a very bad way. So they don't go back to Godhead, but they don't go back to Godhead, but they get they do get Sayuja Mukti, they get impersonal liberation. If they're killed by Krishna, so they will not go back to the Lord's side. But they will get a very big liberation. Because they were killed by Krishna, so they get that. The demons who are killed by Krishna, they get. But if we 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 are not going to be the like that. Krishna is not going to come and kill us. You know. 嗯、因为这些恶魔是被奎斯纳亲手杀死的，所以他们得到解脱。但但是我们不会这样去做。Krishna came. There's some special rasa there with these demons. You know, they were they were special demons who were killed by Krishna. 被奎斯纳所杀的这些恶魔都是特殊的恶魔，他们有特殊的关系。We may be demons, but we're only little demons. 我们以我们可能是恶魔，但我们是小恶魔。Krishna, Krishna is not going to come to kill us. 嗯 ，Krishna 都不会，都不会不屑于来杀我们。He'll kill us. He'll just give us a heart attack or something. 啊，他会让我们心脏病发作。Die the easy way. 嗯，就这么简单的就死掉了。Why should he take the trouble to come? 他为什么要那么费那么多麻烦亲自来杀呢 ？Just like chanting the holy name, you know, there's qualities also in chanting the holy name. So some people chant the holy name ridiculing way in a joking way, you know. It it's also chanting, but it's not pure chanting. 就像唱诵圣名，有的人呢就是冷嘲热讽的唱诵，也是圣名，但不是纯粹的唱诵。嗯。But they get they can get liberation from that namabas chanting and namabas can liberate one. 他们这这个 number bus， 这 number bus 可以让一个人得到解脱。But they won't get love of God. 但是他们得不到对神的爱。So the goal of life is to develop love of God. 生命的目标是为了得到对神的爱。Not 
Okay. All right. So. Well, yeah. Satisfy the guru. Yeah. Because the soul is, is eternal. So since the son has already died, one Krishna again um let the soul enter into the old body to satisfy the guru. To satisfy the guru. Mm. Yes, the goal you have the disciple is meant to satisfy the guru. Oh, so even if you're the supreme personality of Godhead, but if you take teachings from the Guru, then you have to satisfy you're expected to satisfy him in some way. Mm. So Krishna was teaching by his example. Krishna Okay, yes, Hare Krishna. Hare. Srila Prabhupada ki jai. Go back to Vrinda ki I <laughs> 